Hello everyone and welcome to Juris Such Academy. In this video, I'm going to analyze the syllabus of jurisprudence, which is helpful for your UGC NET exam 2021. So here is the syllabus of jurisprudence, wherein you can see 10 subtopics which has been covered under this subject. So one by one, I'm going to pick each and every topic and discuss that what you should read and what you should eliminate. So let's start the video. So the first topic is nature and sources of law. Under this, you should focus upon the definition part of jurisprudence, which has been given by the different jurists. So try to trace out the important ones, right? Like Allen, Austin, Salmon, Holland, right? And so on. Secondly, for sources of law, just try to learn the different classifications given by the jurist, especially by the Austin and the Salmon. Also try to remember that how many sources of law are there and especially focus upon the custom and the precedent part, right? Because most of the questions has been asked from this area. So here comes the next topic, which is schools of jurisprudence. So this is a substantial part of the jurisprudence, but it doesn't mean that you should commit your maximum time after learning each and every thinkers which has been given in that particular school. So rather than this, just emphasize on the important thinkers or jurist which belong to that specific school. Secondly, just try to remember the books or the lectures which they had published. And if you can remember the year of publication, do remember, otherwise don't unnecessarily stress yourself. So the next important thing that comes under schools of jurisprudence is theories. So there are several theories which has been given under different schools. So you must be aware and just try to filter out that what are the important theories who is the propounder of that theory? What is the essence of that theory to our society? You can place a focus upon analytical school, historical school, sociological school or natural school as well. So the last thing that comes under schools is criticism. So just try to remember the important or the popular criticisms made by the different thinkers. You can just place your emphasis on the criticism made by the Salman, Allen or Holland and so on. So let's move to the third topic, which is law and morality, in which you should focus upon only two things. First is, what is the relation between law and morals? Second, what are the codes given by the important thinkers? So you can focus upon the statement given by the Austin, Bentham, Salmond, Holland. Now here comes the fourth topic, which is the concepts of rights and duties. Under the rights heading, you should focus upon the three things. First is the theories. We have will theory and interest theory. So you should know that who is the propounder of these theories. And you can also remember the criticisms which these theories has faced. Second, the five elements given by the Salman. Third is the different classifications of rights, like legal and equitable, right, perfect, right, imperfect, right. So you should know the characteristics of these classifications given under the rights. Second heading is regarding the duties. Under this, there comes the general relations and especially just focus on the Austin, Salmond and Hoffeld and just to place a special emphasis upon the Hoffeld, right? Especially the correlators and the opposites, just know that what is the relation between them. So here comes the next topic, which is legal personality. This is also one of the important topics given under the jurisprudence. You are definitely going to get one question from this topic. So what you should cover under legal personality? Just know who are the legal person or juristic person and what is the position or the legal position of dead man, minor and so on. Next is, just know the difference between corporation sole and corporation aggregate because it is also frequently asked. Third, just know the theories of the legal personality like bracket theory, fiction theory and know who has propounded which theory and what is the nature of that particular theory. Now here comes the two important concepts under jurisprudence, which are possession and ownership. Under possession, just try to know that what are the two essential elements which is covered under the possession. Together with this, just know what are the various theories given under the possession topic. Whereas on the other hand, under the ownership, just focus at what are, what are the definitions given for the ownership, especially the definition given by the Austin. On the other hand, also know that what are the kinds of ownership. So here comes the next topic, which is property. This is particularly a small topic in which you should focus upon the classifications, which is being given under the property. So most of you are already aware about the liabilities, like how many types of liabilities are there, like civil liability and criminal liability. What are the difference between these two? 
so for the topic of liability what you should do is just try to focus on the definition or the important statements given by some eminent jurist like solvent is there or austin is there or like any other thinker which you might think is important for the exam whereas on the second hand place a special emphasis on the punishment theories right like how many punishment theories are there what is the nature of those theories please do try to remember this part so here comes the last portion of the syllabus which is law poverty global justice modernism so these are those topics which belongs to the advanced jurisprudence right so these are some advanced topics so for this what you can do is you can refer some research articles or you may just simply visit epg patshala website where under paper advanced jurisprudence you can find these topics so just have a rough overlook over these topics and get the idea so here are some quick pointers which might be helpful for your preparation first is that try to eliminate the least asked content or a class see this is a competition and you are not expected to cover each and every topic given in the syllabus so what you should do just focus on the core areas focus on the important areas your realist school is not that important as your analytical historical or sociological school is right second don't experiment with the new topics especially when the exam date is near third is that read and try to revise the content which you have done during your entire preparation please like this video and share with your friends also subscribe jurisdiction academy to get the further updates